Uh, my name is Steve Rice. I'm the Field Office Director of United States Citizenship and Immigration Services here at the Pittsburgh Field Office. I'd like to welcome the candidates for naturalization today and their family members and guests who have chosen to join them for this special occasion. We will begin the ceremony with a video presentation titled Faces of America. At this time, I would like to ask everyone to please stand as we begin the formal portion of today's ceremony with the national anthem. And I'd like to introduce Nadia Commodore. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proud 
the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming That our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave For the land of the free And the You may be seated. Awesome job, Nadia. Hi, good morning again. My name is Stephen Rice. I'm the field office director with or for United States Citizenship and Immigration Services in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. On behalf of United States Citizenship and Immigration Services, I would like to welcome all of the candidates for naturalization today, as well as their, fa as well as their family members and guests who are here to celebrate with them. A very special thanks to uh, Mayor Ed Ganey, Mayor of Pittsburgh, for hosting this special ceremony and the, all of the staff that helped coordinate the ceremony today as well. To the candidates for naturalization, in just a few moments I will be administering the Oath of Allegiance. You each should be very proud of yourselves. This journey that led you to this point by no means was an easy one. Each of you, as well as your families, can agree with me that this journey was most likely a very lengthy process for you, um, also a culmination of hard work and perseverance, but you stuck with it, and today is the ultimate prize. You've made an investment in the United States, and now it is time for you officially to call the United States your home. Although you will be taking the oath of allegiance in a few moments, pledging your allegiance to the United States does not mean abandoning your heritage. Diversity is what makes the United States strong. I urge you to continue to embrace your heritage as you embrace your United States citizenship. With citizenship, however, comes civic duties and responsibilities. I encourage you to become engaged with your politics within your communities, exercise the privilege right you now have to vote during elections, heed the call of jury duty when called upon, and continue on the journey of outstanding citizenry that, has, that you have already begun. I wish you all continued success and hope that becoming a citizen is everything you dreamed it would be. With that, I'd like to introduce the manager of Office of Immigrant and Refugee Affairs, Faya Akintola. Good morning. Oh, we don't have enough energy. Good morning. Yes, this is an exciting day, and congratulations um, to you all. Before I do my little spill, I want to make sure I acknowledge um, my colleagues who've been doing incredible work here. One shout out to my colleague, Michelle um, King, who has been kind of working around just to make sure that today is awesome for you. My other co colleagues, um, Devin and Chloe from my HR department, to make sure that they share um, the resources that are available for you here in the city. Our friends from the Bhutanese Community Association of, of, um, of Pittsburgh, BCAP, out of here as well to make sure to help you register to vote as Steve mentioned we want you to be able to exercise that civil right um, again we just want to say welcome and congratulations I had the honor of becoming a citizen um, over a decade ago um, and, I, and I could say this um, some lessons that I've learned um, 
the importance, the duality of, of juggling your old culture and American culture. It is beautiful and amazing. I know that with some communities that we work with, we're always trying to encourage, please continue to speak in your mother tongue, continue to pass your mother tongue to new generations, because that's what really makes us Americans, right? It's the fact that we could hold both together and live. Um, please, again, I can't stress enough the importance of being civically engaged, be involved in government. Your government, your voice deserves to be heard. You are incredible people, and we want to make sure that government gets to hear that as well. And lastly, even though this is the formality, we know that you've already been Americans. You've worked here, you live here, you give your taxes here. So again, just thank you. Thank you for being here. I will end with this. A mayor um, has taxed us with a vision, right, to create a city that is safe, welcoming, and thriving. He really believes that for a city to grow and flourish, you have to be welcoming, you have to be diverse. And he always encourages us that if you only know one culture, you're shallow. The more cultures you know, the more rich you are, and the more rich we are as a city. So because of you all being here, we're already much richer. So again, thank you. And with that, it's my honor to introduce our mayor, Mayor Ed Gaining. Good morning, everybody. How you doing? Now, we're going to do better now. We come to celebrate a new status in our life and the journey that you went on. I'm so grateful to have you here. And I just want to let me say this again. Good morning. Good morning. There we go. Before I begin, I want to also thank Steve. Um, you do a phenomenal job with this. I tell you all the time in private, and I also want to say in public that I really appreciate the work that you put in. Um, you make America a better place and you allow them to believe in a dream that we can all buy into. And for that, I'm forever grateful and I say thank you. To each and every one of you, thank you for becoming an American citizen. Congratulations on your day. You make America better. Um, Faye was right when she was up here. The more diverse we are, the more culture we have, the more rich we are. The beauty of any life is to be able to understand culture from multiple different angles. And there's nothing more beautiful than learning a new culture, learning a new food, learning a new language, learning new friends, finding out that in humanity we have more in common than we have that's different. And you have proven that today by going through this journey together. And so in that, you've already made this city a richer place than what it was before you arrived this morning. And as Faith said, a lot of you already pay taxes. You're already doing civic engagement. Look, we got our HR out there right now, our human resources. If you're looking for a job, please stop by that table and talk to them. We want to make sure we open up opportunities and remove barriers that was once there that are no longer here. It is important to me that you go to the human resource table, find out what jobs they have available, find out what you have to do, find out. And if you're an entrepreneur and you're looking at contracts, you know, make sure you talk to Faye and Michelle about that and find out how we connect you to our procurement program so that you can also begin your business and find out exactly how you do contracting with the city. That is a major thing. Secondly, is we have all type of giveaways out there that we want you to have before you leave out of here. Today is your day and I want you to celebrate it because we are so honored to have you. And as the mayor of this city, it is with great pride and great privilege that I take in saying welcome. Congratulations. I just want to ask two of y'all to speak up real quick. How has this process been for you? Let me see, can I get you? How has this process been for you? It's been a, it's been a long process. Um, wow, okay. How has this process been to you? What has this process been to you? It's been like challenging. Mm -hmm. Challenging? Yes, it's worth it. It's worth it? How many of y'all happy today? Raise your hand if you're happy. Woo! Yeah, you know, here's, here's what I tell people. You know the greatest smile that I, I'm able to put on my face? It's the smile when I overcome adversity. It's the smile I have when I come through something I've worked hard to obtain. It's the smile I have when I know I came through and I ex exceeded the challenge. Today you've done all that. So the day is your day. So you should take yourself to dinner, you know, make sure you have a wonderful dinner and enjoy yourself. Because at the end of the day, it's not your start, it's just a new beginning to a better tomorrow. God bless you and thank you. Great. Thank you, Mayor Ganey. Thank you, appreciate that. All right, y'all ready? 
All right. <laughs> so when, um, the next portion of the ceremony is called the call of countries. So when I call your country, I'd ask that you please stand and remain standing. Uh, directly after we call all the countries, I will be administering the oath of allegiance to the United States. It's my privilege to present 24 applicants for naturalization from the following 20 countries. Brazil. Canada. China. Germany. Greece. India. Italy. Sorry, I may have been drowning. Italy? There we go, sorry. <laughs> Jamaica. Japan. Latvia. Mexico. Pakistan. Philippines. Sierra Leone. Somalia. Sri Lanka. Syria, the United Kingdom, Uzbekistan, and Zambia. On behalf of the United States government, it is my pleasure to present these candidates for naturalization. Each of the candidates has been personally examined under oath by a designated officer. Each has demonstrated an understanding of the English language, unless exempt, and knowledge and understanding of the fundamentals of history and principles and form of government of the United States. Each has been found to be a person of good moral character, attached to the principles of the Constitution of the United States, and well disposed to good and order and happiness of the United States. The investigations of the government have been completed in their cases, and each has been found to meet all requirements of the law to be naturalized. Therefore, on behalf of the United States government, I respectfully recommend that all candidates be admitted as citizens of the United States of America. If all the candidates for naturalization could please raise your right hand, and repeat after me. I hereby declare on oath that I absolutely and entirely renounce and abjure all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince, potentate, state, or sovereignty of whom or which I have heretofore been a subject or citizen that I will support and defend the Constitution and the laws of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I will bear arms on behalf of the United States when required by the law, that I will perform non-combatant service 
in the Armed Forces of the United States, when required by the law, that I will perform work of national importance under civilian direction, when required by the law, and that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, so help me God. Congratulations, you're all now citizens of the United States of America. It's a good feeling, yeah? <laughs> I can tell, I, I like looking, seeing everybody's happiness after we say that. So, uh, uh, you can be, please be seated, I'm sorry. <laughs> So one of the most unique and often most memorable parts of our ceremonies is hearing from our citizen candidates. At this time, I'd like to open the floor to our candidates who would like to briefly share their story or say a note of thanks to someone here who has been with them during their journey of citizenship. I know the mayor kind of reached out and asked if, if there's somebody in the crowd that would like to come up and kind of explain uh, what that process was like for you. The floor, floor is yours. Anybody? It's okay if you don't. <laughs> All right, so now uh, we have a, a message from the president followed by a video showcasing naturalization ceremonies at special locations across the United States. Welcome, my fellow Americans. First and foremost, I wanna thank you for choosing us and believing that America is worthy of your aspirations. Every immigrant comes from America from different circumstances and for different reasons. But you all have one thing in common, courage. The courage it takes to sacrifice and make this journey. The courage to leave your homes, your lives, your loved ones, and come to a nation that is more than just a place, but rather an idea. An idea that where everyone is created equal and deserves to be treated equally. The idea that we have as a nation, and we, are, we can define America in one word, possibilities, possibilities since its founding. That very idea has been nurtured, enriched, and advanced by the contributions, sacrifices, and dreams of immigrants like you and immigrants like my own ancestors from Ireland, and like generations of our fellow Americans. And today, you've earned a new title equal to that of an American president, the title I'm most proud of, citizen, citizen of the United States of America. I look forward to standing with you as you embrace your new rights and responsibilities, as you build your lives and legacies here, as generations have done before you in this great nation of immigrants. So welcome, my friends. Welcome, my fellow Americans. Welcome. May God bless you all, and may God bless the United States of America. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I hereby declare on oath that I will support and defend the Constitution and laws of the United States of America. And I say this obligation freely. So help me God. Congratulations, you are all America's newest citizens. Their country love. 
majesty At this time, uh, we will all join in reciting in the Pledge of Allegiance. I'd like to invite all the children uh, in, the, in the audience, if you guys want to come up and help me. Can you help me? <laughs> it's all right. We do this all the time. Come on up. There you go. Here's one. Oh. Unless you know it by heart, then you can take the lead. <laughs> Does she want to come up? No? Okay. All right, when we say the Pledge of Allegiance, we do so standing uh, with our right hand over our hearts. If everybody could please rise. All right, y'all ready? Come on up. Come around here. See if they can hear us. All right, ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Give my hand. So at this time, oh, sorry, you can be seated. I'll do that again. <laughs> Uh, after this next portion, I'm at, at, when I have you guys sit back down, I'm going to have um, the mayor come up, and then I'm gonna, I know he likes to get a group photo with everybody. So we'll, this next portion is we're going to hand out your certificates, call you up one by one. Uh, when you hear your name called, please come up to receive the certificate. I'll present it to you. Um, this is a fantastic opportunity for uh, you to kind of use the buddy system and take photos as you're coming up. Um, and we'll ask that candidates please return to your seats uh, until everyone has received their certificate. Good. All right, first person, Hiroshi Nara. All right, all right. <laughs> Anthony Jackson Moppe.
feel like yeah. that. Gabriela Naomi Gongarab Schwarzman. Sean Edward Lister. Elizabeth Brady. Mahari Johan Margaret Webster. Yep. Mm. All right. I call both of you up at the same time. You're, you're married, right? <laughs> All, right. All, right. <laughs> All right, Charlotte Levepi Villon and Christian Basil Raimundo Villon. Valentina Kupri Genova. Yuan <laughs> Ling Seto. Panayota Senekis Florent. <laughs> Kumuduni Gunawaradana Karunag Gedar. Diane Christina Groff. Congratulations. 
Lobna Adi. Jean Yang Jean. Deepak Uda. Rashidatu Tepi Koroma. <laughs> Eto Adrian O'Neill Gillings. Simone Macanti. Matthias Stein. Hina Maywish Warich. Eduardo Lugo Perez. Nilofar Yulda Shovna Alim Janova.
Hede Hamadi Sundi. That's it. Let's give everybody another round of applause. Hey! Give it applause. All right. Great.